So our NATIP project is focusing on the use of discontinuous fibre composites used in high performance aerospace applications, and primarily the use of compression moulding and SMC material itself. The main benefits of our process uh, over the traditional approach within the aerospace industry is uh, much lower cycle times, much lower waste, and much lower unit costs. So we have a unique capability and that's the footprint of the press itself allows us to cater for quite a wide variety of parts and um, we manufacture parts within all industries, not just aerospace. Creative Composites was formed 40 years ago. Throughout the history of the company we have always looked at new processes, new technology and new materials. We have invested a huge amount of money in the compression moulding process. We've invested in the largest presses in the United Kingdom. The presses we have here at Creative Composites are, are very advanced to give us a high level of control and allow us to produce parts that are very complex and a very, very high level of quality. The compression moulding process gives us some design flexibility and we can design some advanced features in the components that are not possible with other processes. So within the NATSA project we manufactured a demonstrator component within a, an eVTOL application. We also developed a software called Firmaflow and that software really allowed us to optimise this geometry um, for SMC and the compression moulding process. Um, so as you can see here you have a uh, rib feature which is really to keep weight to a minimum but also reinforce locally areas that need to be reinforced. This is really a combination of all the uh, key inputs for the partners throughout the project. Um, so with WMG who really supported with the R&D and the material characterization uh, at the early stages of the project. Um, we have Simutens who uh, supported with the software development and Ingenuity really um, carried out the structural analysis and the geometry optimization. We also had Spirit providing inputs throughout the whole process and guidance really to understand what the key parameters are for this type of component. We had done some early trials to look at the feasibility of using carbon reinforced compression moulding materials and the tooling we had gave us some very encouraging results. So our desire was really to try and exploit the benefits of those materials for additional market sectors. This project has exemplified collaborative working. All the partners have put significant effort into the, realising the final demonstrator product. And the substantial engagement by the end user was very encouraging. I really look forward to seeing what these guys can do in the future.